contact. So here I am driving out the bolts that hold the trunnion carrier in and the fifth wheel plate on. Was able to get the nuts all loose with that Milwaukee impact. Pretty impressed with that. working on here is the stud that actually holds the well it holds the trunnion carrier in it holds the fifth wheel plate on and it's the stud that sticks out that the shock mounts to there's a better picture of it there I couldn't get it to come out and I couldn't get a hammer inside so luckily I had a port of power in my truck from work and was able to press it out from the inside. You can see it there. That's my father-in-law, John. Thanks for your help, John. He's helping me here. Give her the old tap, 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 a roo. Little wake it up, my dad used to call it. And there it comes. And here we go, time for some heavy equipment flicked it up with the forks. I was surprised how well it came off. Was worried it was going to be rusted on there. Now I've got the rear cross member coming out. Again, I was able to break all those nuts loose with that Milwaukee impact. Which I didn't think I'd be able to uh, my father-in-law thought of a good idea, put that ratchet strap on in case the rust jacking had the frame sprung so we didn't lose our eyes. Luckily it wasn't sprung that bad when we pulled it off, but that was a good idea. Pulling off the bump stops for the rear axle. And then taking apart that air relay. And we're clear to the rear that comes out. Taking out the U-joints to disconnect the drive shaft. Here I'm installing some caging bolts, they're called, the, it's a special bolt that pulls off the spring brakes on an air chamber so that the tires will roll when there's no air applied. And here's the big moment we've been waiting for. I was kind of nervous to see how this would go, I'm by myself here and surprisingly it slid right out so I was happy about that. All right, so I just got the trunnion carrier axles, the whole deal here, pulled out on the deputy dog. She looks a little naked. Um, I'm gonna get some more blocks under this. I just used a bottle jack and some wood here. And I'm not really trusting that. Uh, so I'm gonna put some wood in there and um, we'll see what happens. so far I got the rear ends everything out um, I'm gonna start cleaning up tearing apart the bushings and everything I want to get everything basically from the cab back painted 
So that's the stuff that's going to be coming in the videos to follow this one. I appreciate you sticking with me. If you've got any advice or see anything I'm doing wrong, please feel free to leave a comment. I've never done any of this before. Um, so the fact that I got this far with minimal help, uh, kind of surprised myself. So thanks guys for watching. Until next time, stay American.